Hello guys, Hilary is my name. Once again, I want us to look at the dental chair, the, the way I made the mechanisms that uh, move the chair. In, in my last videos, I explained how the suction system works and how the entire dental chair is with all the accessories. Now, I want us to look at the system that moves, makes the movements up and down and the one that moves the backrest. This is how I made it. Now, this is how I made it. Um, I first of all purchased a jug for this is an automotive jug. It's a car jug. If you to look at it, this. Now the way this car jug is made, it has a, a spindle here where you 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 can uh, attach a rod and turn it clockwise and turn it clockwise. Turn it clockwise brings this. Uh, piston out and then turning it and clockwise lowers it so uh, uh, in making the movements I had to make an actuator I use the car window motor when you look at this motor if you converse with your cars you'll see this is a car window motor so I attach the window motor this spindle and uh, with the wiring if you to look closely the wires here come up that side uh, this uh, this one specifically is to do the up and down movement so there is a similar motor down here just below the seat, it also has a, a car jack and also has a window motor here, a window motor. So the whole configuration makes an actuator. So I wired these, uh, the, the wires that connect to the motors that move them, uh, go inside up to the power supply. These motors are supplied by the power supply. So, when if you're looking closely, and I do this, you see that the car the motor is moving in. And when I do that, you realize the motor is. That's how I made it. You can see the motor moving. So there you can see it going inside. And same thing. That makes up and down movements. And I do this. Realize it's moving. Pulling the motor down. I'm pulling, putting the chair, lowering the chair. So, 
so that's what it is basically thank you